So this is the lesson for nobody knows you when you're down and out. And I'm teaching this according to the tab that I made. And we're in standard tuning. And I'm my E's. And I'll play the introduction slowly. So we're starting with an F chord, which is your D7 uh, first position chord, moved up to the 5th fret, and then you add the index to the 3rd uh, fret 4th string. And I'm playing only the 1st, 3rd and 4th strings. Then you move up your index finger to the 4th fret, and then we go to a C, with the pinky added to the 3rd fret. and Watch my right hand, I'm doing that, and then followed by the thump and the mute, of course, like that. Sort of a flamenco rasquedo. Bend, I've used my pinky here for the fourth uh, fret, second string. You can, of course, use the, the bar for the A and then a bend, slightly bent, open string 5th fret and then sliding to the D7, C7 position, moved up. And then you change position to a G but with a thumb wrap. So the 6th string is played with a left hand thumb, open and back to our C and then open. One more time. Once I lived a life of a millionaire, spending my money. my friends out for a mighty fine time, breaking hot points liquor, champagne and wine. Now those are the eight bars that I repeated over and over again. They call this a round robin progression because it's eight bars repeated uh, throughout the rest of the song with minor variations of course. So we started with that C chord, one side, and I, those strums, those arrows downwards, so I, I play those with my two fingers held together a bit and like that. I have the most control uh, playing like that, but some people will prefer to use the tap. And I mute that of course, because we don't want We don't want that, that ring into the next beat. Like that. Triplets in the A7, slide into it. F, partial F chord, we don't bother with the temp uh, rap here. So we're playing only the first four strings. Notice I'm lifting the chord and there's no sound uh, prolonged there. A7, just these two fingers. D minor. Chords sliding up to the fourth fret, four, five, four, five. Back to our C. That's a bit tricky here. We have 
it's not a triplet, but uh, three notes in that beat. And going to the A7. Sliding into the D7. And uh, the thumb wrap using the thumb wrap for the G. So sliding into the G7, D7. Triplets. Using the, the second finger to do play that fourth fret uh, sixth string. Open. So I use the chord for the G. And I'm adding the pinky to get that G plus chord. And then it starts all over again. So I'll play the next section slowly, starting with uh, the previous bar. our C but now we're playing the open E string as well and it's a down strum and then index down and then we're going to our uh, E bend and, and release a little bit back into our A and then it's typical um, Lightning Hopkins when he plays in E in A and these are little tricks that blues players often did they used um, when playing in the key of A uh, blues for example the tricks you use for a certain chord and in this case the A you can use it in another key when an A is played like in this case for example you see so that second beat uh, the, it's the tenth measure the second last line bass here D minor F again F diminished okay uh, since it was pretty much the same as before, uh, I don't think the rest needs more expl explanations. It's about the same as uh, the previous verse. So the third time through, that's uh, the chorus. No. Slight variations here, going back to our the top of the page, the last bar of the first line, which is bar 17. The little numbers are on the beginning of each line. Here we have a little slide. Now 
when you, these down strums, it is possible that you sometimes will hit uh, one string more than it is tapped out, so don't worry about that. It's often a per more percussive uh, because I mute it immediately after it. Wrap again. Okay, then we go to the the next one. Uh, I'll sing it again. And here we have again that, and then the, in the second beat, I even add more notes. That is pinch, stamp, and index, and then middle index stamp. Of course, if this is too difficult for you, you can use one of the previous uh, passes, which are uh, not as hard. F. And here, of course, the tremolo brush. I'm doing that with my second finger. And it is really hard, uh, not only to do the brush, but to thumbs, play the thumb uh, at the same time. So. So again, if you can't do that, just play one of the previous bars. So again, with a tremolo brush. It helps that you pinch at the same time and then start the brushing. And this is a pinch and I use my second finger for that in the tap, going to each other. You know that with those uh, diminished chords, if you go three frets higher, it's the same chords. So you can use that same chords. You can check the notes, but they are on different places. For example, here the A is on the first ring, fifth fret, where it is now. Yeah. So. You can check that with all the other notes. And it means that you can use that uh, in your uh, playing. But of course you have to be fast in this case. And here we have different... So we're going to, uh, going to that D7. Going down and using our second finger to the fourth fret, sixth string, open. And our thumb wrap G chords, and we're adding the second finger to the fourth fret, third string.
so that's it for uh, the basic arrangement. And you see you have room to move there. And don't be afraid to add a base here and there according to your uh, preferences. And also the, the thing is, is important. If you accent some different words of part from words, you can uh, support that with your guitar playing. Now the solos, initially this was a, a transcription of a version I made purely instrumental. And I didn't want to sing that first, so the performance video is a bit of the two. And I skipped the part of the first solo because they're, well, they're really hard. <laughs> And, uh, for example, in performance, I use only one of the three solos and I add uh, a reprise of the, um, the chorus, uh, Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. But I'll play slowly what I played in the performance video. And I started on the top of the page. And then I went straight to the fourth line. So downwards to the A7. So the first bar on top of the page, that's not too difficult and then we're sliding, we're going to the fourth bar, uh, sorry, the fourth line of the tap. The D minor at the fifth fret and an A, um, a seven. slowly again yeah you can play around with that uh. And here I'm sliding into the sort of F chord, partial F chord, 8 frets. And with the pinky and the third finger on the 10th fret, 2nd string and 4th string. And adding my thumb to the 8th fret. Um, you can use that with uh, bars of course, but I prefer to do it like this. And just removing the pinky and our second finger is on the ninth fret of the second string. So again and a B7 and then the E sliding into an E7 very uh, for just while well, I have a beat and when we go to that C chord, just keep your second finger on the fourth string and slide it to the uh, sixth fret and add these. Uh, well, you can add only the, the pinky and the third finger to the seventh fret first and the third string. But if you want to grab a chord, then you put your uh, index finger on the second string. In a way, this is your D, uh, C7. But your two fingers, these fingers, the uh, pinky and the third finger, are moved to the first and the third string. It's a typical uh, Gary Davis chord. He added the temp for the two strings. And you have a nice full sounding E7 plus 9, maybe, I don't know, I guess exactly. Anyway, so we had that. And back again fast to our long A chord. Moving the index to the 4th string, 2nd string, 
third finger to the fifth fret, sixth string. It's again, again, sorry. And moving back our index to the third fret. Again to the fourth fret. And then our uh, G7 chords. And the G plus the fourth fret uh, second string is added. Okay, again that the whole passage. back again uh, at the C, the bottom of the page, the second bar. Again at C chord. Pinky to the fourth fret and you see I'm releasing my index so that I can move over more easily if you keep that position it's uh, hard to play. E7. And we're losing the, the alternating bass pattern here. Sliding into our A7. And then sliding to a A7 at the 9th position and immediately to a uh, D minor. Hard passage, um, and of course I'm using my third finger to get that D minor, and I have room enough and strength enough to use my pinky for the 13th fret, but you might want to uh, use another finger. Fingering is something, well, really personal, I think, and always do whatever works for you, even if it's not, uh, uh, well, taught in the, in the books. So, uh, again, from the bottom of the page, second bar. passage again, sliding into the 8th fret, pinching two fingers here, adding the temp, and then going to our B7, and this is a difficult chord, it's like your C chord. Moved up to the 8th fret, but the pinky is on the 5th fret, so you have quite a stretch here. And you're going down, you're just moving your two fingers, and, and this one too, uh, one fret. The long A, sorry. Sorry. Quite hard, so um, again that long. And then I'm using my pinky and my second finger to grab that fifth fret and fourth fret here on the second and the fifth string. I slide down, I release the, the bass, and then for the third note I go to our D7. So we were we've seen this 
before. So D7, move up the index finger to the fourth fret, and then <clears throat> using your sorry, I'm using my temp here, and then we're going to our G chords, fifth fret, third fret. Sorry, fifth fret, third fret, fourth fret are G. Temp wrap and the the third fret first string played with the index, and then moving my uh, fingers to the pinky to the fourth fret second string and the second finger to the third fret fourth string. Sliding down and only sliding the, the pinky and the moment I slide I release my second finger and then the first finger on the second string first fret for the e, C chord. Pinky, long A, partial D7, partial A7. Uh, and then that uh, uh, G7 chord. So that's a handful. But what I do in performance is uh, I only play the, the, the first bar as on top of the page. Go to uh, the fourth line. Nobody loves you, and so on. So you have only a short solo and. Uh, let's say a doable solo and if you really want to do uh, the other instrumental parts uh, be my guest of course but I think in a performance that is the easiest thing to do it's still well quite spectacular I think because of this is really uh, fine playing and uh, adds to the character of the song of course so I guess that's it for um, Nobody Loves You When You're Down and Out. Great song. Have fun with it.